Welcome back to 10 Days of Spooky Tober. Our series where we paint some of our favorite Halloween horror movies of the 1990s. Last year we topped it off with the 1980s and this year we're coming back but we're going to switch it up and we're doing the 1990s. I'm super excited about it. I hope you guys are too. So Candyman came out in 1992 and of course I was like only 12 years old during that time. I know right? Like <laughs> Can you imagine me being 12 years old? Like, I don't know. I, I feel like it's like a lifetime ago. Whatever. I digress. So it came out in 1992. And it was like phenomenal. Because it was like the first time that we had ever, ever seen something where it featured around a black character that was a star of a horror movie. We started to see a lot of African Americans kind of popping up in the horror genre that prior to that had been predominantly where it was mostly you only see white people and stuff like that, which is wonderful. It was so, so wonderful, right? So you know everybody gravitated towards it. And then it was like an after school special kind of wrapped up all into one, right? But it was like, even though it was all of those different things, you with me? You with me? It was a phenomenal bomb ass horror movie. It was a phenomenal horror movie that we could not, we could not deny that it was a bomb horror movie that could stand on its own and continue to be a classic to the point that they even remade it. Which <laughs> don't even get me started on on the remake. Okay, I don't know why they remade it, but. You know, it is what it is. I wish people would just leave these good horror movies. Leave the old horror movies. Let sleeping dogs lie. Now in this particular section, you can see I'm kind of painting in his hands and all that stuff. And FYI, little do you guys know, <laughs> I'm not great with hands. Like that's one of the things that I really struggle with, even though I try to take my time with it. And I really try to hone my skills to make sure I'm good with things. But yeah, that's one of the things I struggle with. And I really kind of like trying to figure out all the little nuances you would never think something so basic like a hand would be so hard to paint or draw but it is okay so don't even look don't look at it just go with it i i did it in like several different colors mad lazy i don't even know what's going on it <laughs> Boom. So this year, I wanted to spark things off and I decided to go in a different direction when it came to this year's piece. In particular, I started to design a different way of doing things. I wanted to kind of come into my own when it came to um, putting my spin on all of my favorite spooky movies from the 1990s so I decided to go with a pop with like a pop art pop pop-esque type of background and this is what you'll see throughout the whole theme of our series 
I wanted to come up with my own spin on how things feel and look in my perspective from a pop art version with my style, my colors, and my spin on it. And I ended up kind of liking it. Um, I don't know if we'll, if I'll continue it, but I definitely ended up liking it. So I'm not going to lie, you guys. I really, really struggled with this piece because you know it's the ugly stage. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the ugly stage is the stage in between good and bad right it's the stage where everybody wants to quit and that's pretty much where i was with this particular piece i really felt like oh my god i just want to leave it here and just not do it <laughs> and then on top of that i this year because this is like a new territory for me and i had already done like the the sketch and all that stuff and procreate and kind of worked out the composition and did the draft and did the thing. I really, you know, thought that I had it all down packed in my mind. And I ended up coming up with this like this theme that I want the whole thing, all the series of paintings to be, which you guys will see as time starts to go on. But I ultimately decide on, you know, lots of pinks and oranges and like peachy oranges and, and browns and stuff like that and I really went in and I took a break so I mean that that's my tip of the day you guys if you get to the ugly stage and that and you feel like you need to take a break go ahead and take a break um nobody's gonna come over and like smack you around <laughs> because you need to take a break or you're painting it's just you know the nature of the beast so yeah i really kind of took breaks in between and really try to take my time with making sure that the composition came out the way i wanted it to in my head so yeah So here you guys, you can see that I whipped out my Micron pen because it's time to get down to brass tacks. <laughs> I don't know, I always wanna say brass tacks. But yeah, I mean, the bottom line is this year I wanted to, I know a lot of people like, oh, you know, a lot of people say, like they say, if you outline your stuff, it's, it's really cartoony, but no. I decided that I really like the graphic-y kind of look of like conventional or traditional pop art. If you really look close at, at pop art, you'll see that a lot of their stuff is outlined, heavy eyelashes, lips outlined, cross hatching and stuff like that. So. In the same vein, I wanted to do that, so I ended up outlining a lot of like the shirt, the, the his face, and all the things like that. Um, I didn't so much do the hair because you wouldn't be able to really tell the difference, but on spots that I knew would be able to pop, I added that bit of like darkness and outline.
and that's it for today's episode you guys i hope you had a spooky spooky good time comment below and let me know what you think um question of the day what do you think we're going to be doing for next week's episode yes i hope you guys are excited if you participate along with us along with spookytober you can use the hashtag 10 days of spookytober or tag me on instagram and let me see your work over in the discord join us as we flow through the fun and i'll catch you guys on the next one bye